Here's a quick video to show you the three big kinematic equations. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is identify the variables that we might have in such a problem. So there are five main variables, and what I'd like to do is I'd usually like to list these five variables and identify what we have. So the D is either distance or displacement. Uh, usually they're, they're uh, used interchangeably. We have initial velocity or initial speed. We have final velocity or final speed, and these are both v sub i and v sub f. We have acceleration and time. So distance will usually be in meters, speed, meters per second, acceleration, meters per second squared, then time in seconds. And you have to be careful with this because there's often hidden variables written into a word problem um, that are not necessarily explicit. So a car that starts from rest has an initial speed of zero. A car that comes to a stop has a final speed of zero. Anything in the air would have an y acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, you might have a situation where something goes up and down where the time doubles. So you have to be careful about those hidden variables. So once you've identified which variables you'll have, and you'll usually have three of the five, you'll then be empowered to solve for the other two with these specific equations. The equations are v final equals v initial plus acceleration times time. Distance equals initial velocity times time plus one half at squared. Now, if you're in a position where you don't have an accelerating body, it's certainly it's simply just distance equals velocity times time, or you know, for the fundamental definition of velocity, which is displacement over time. And then the last is a little trickier to manipulate, but it's velocity squared final equals uh, velocity initial squared plus two times the acceleration times the distance or the displacement. So with these big three equations, you should be able to solve most of your problems in this kin kinematics unit. Hopefully, this video is helpful.